Hello and welcome everyone. In previous video, we had defined a function named f u n c and we were finding out the value for the volume and area of the cylinder. And we knew that whatever variables that are presented inside the function definition, they are the local variables. Local variable means they, the scope of this variable is limited to this function itself. I cannot access the value of r outside the function. If I am trying to find out the value of r outside the function, it will throw an error and it will say it is an undefined function or variable. So MATLAB does not know that what is r, but we know that r is an input argument. So these are the local variables. So r, h, v, and a, everything that we have defined inside the function, they are the local variables. Now suppose there is a scenario in which what I want to do is, I want to find out the volume of a sphere also. In this example, we were finding out the volume and area for a cylinder. Now I want to find out the volume of a sphere also for the same value of radius. So what I want is, I do not want to define the value of r again and again. And I just once I want to define the value of r and every single function that needs r inside the definition will have the access to that particular value of r without defining it again and again individually to every single function. So how do we do that is we define r and we will be defining that value as global. I will give you an example to make it clear. So now suppose I am defining the radius as a global variable. So I will simply write glo bl global and r. By writing this, I am telling MATLAB that r is going to be a global variable and every single functions inside which I will have the value of r, I will define a global and now I will assign it to a value. Suppose 3 centimeters I am defining. Now, so as we have defined r as a global variable, we do not need to define it here. And now here we can write global r. In this way, MATLAB knows that value of r will be coming outside this function calling and it will be loaded somewhere inside the script file or the command window or the workspace. It simply means that value of r will not be given in the input arguments at the time of calling. I will give you an example. It will be very clear to you. And now I am trying to run this function. I want to find out the value of volume and the area and I will simply write f u n c and then I, I will mention the value of height. So suppose for 10 cm I want to find out the value. So as soon as I will press enter I can see there is no error created and the reason is the value of r inside the function this this and everywhere where we have r is coming from here. The reason is because we have defined r as a global variable. So that is how MATLAB is calculating the value of volume and area using radius equals to 3 centimeters and height equals to 10 centimeters. And now as I previously also mentioned that we generally define a variable as a global variable when we are using the same variable inside another functions also. So suppose this value of r is being used inside this function. Suppose I want to use this value of r inside another function. Suppose I am creating another function in which I will be finding out the value of the volume in case of a sphere. So now I just want the volume and I will write v here. I will remove this argument. I do not want this. And also r, the value of r will be coming outside of this function. So we do not need to give the value of r also. And also we will remove this. So now we will mention the volume of sphere. Volume of sphere is 4 by 3 into pi r cube. So now the value of r will be coming outside of this function. So we have to make the value of r global and we will write global and r. So we will not assign the value of r when we are calling it. So now we have to save these functions with the same name. Suppose I am trying to name this function as p h e r e sphere. I am finding out the volume of sphere. I can name it anything. And now as soon as I will press control s, MATLAB will automatically assign the file name as sphere because the file name cannot be different from the function name. Okay. So now we have saved the function. Now I will also give a current column here and now we will call it. So we want to find out the volume of the sphere and then we will write sphere and then we won't give any argument because the value of radius will be coming from here which is 3. 
so as expected matlab is not throwing any error because even though we did not define any value of r here which was used in the function just because we had defined r as a global variable so this is a very live example in which we are using the same variable inside two different functions and we do not need to define the single variable again and again inside each and every function that means if there are lots of variable that are common inside every function so we do not need to define every single variable individually to each function so this is how the global variables benefit us and now i can also make the variable h global suppose i am not writing it here i will make it global by writing global and i will tell h equals to 10 cm and now i will mention that h is also a global variable now as soon as i run this function i will be able to see that volume and area separate by a comma for function i will have the value of volume and area even though we did not define any value of radius and height so this is how we can define the variables as global so in this way i hope this concept of local and global variables is somehow clear to you guys i hope you guys found this video useful make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel also don't forget to share it with your friends thank you so much